Welcome back. It is time for our first good news story of the day. He is a military hero on a mission to honor medical heroes working the front lines of COVID. He created something unique. It's called CAM, C-A-M, for COVID Angel of Mercy from Grovetown, Georgia. Let's meet Jacob Neal. Jacob, great to have you on this 4th of July weekend. It's great to be here, Ryan. How are you doing today? Doing well. So tell us about CAM and the inspiration for this project, Jacob. Well, the CAM, also the COVID Angel of Mercy, um, I was inspired by the nurses, the doctors that are um, in the treatment, the testing and eradication of COVID-19. They're, they're just watching their stories and seeing them crying at night and saying that their, their mission was sort of like going to a battlefield. They compared it to going to war. And I said, well, I've been to war and I know how that feels. So let me, let me maybe I can create something for them. And you, you set up the COVID uh, Angel of Mercy Scholarship Fund, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. The scholarship fund is 50% um, of the proceeds um, for the CAM patch goes into the COVID Angel of Mercy Scholarship Fund. And the rest covers the cost of medical supplies and, uh, and, and patches like this, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. The patches, um, it also goes into shipping, the mailing, and things like that. Like I said, I'm not here to get rich or make money. I'm just here to, um, to salute these heroes. And just give us a little background on your military history, Jacob. I spent 21 years, four months, and 22 days in the Army, but who's counting? And um, <laughs> I went to combat four times, so I know what combat's like. Wow. And, um, and I realized that um, some of these nurses and doctors are going to experience some of the same things that soldiers experience. Um, we have the treatment and facilities being VA hospitals. Everybody acknowledges that, but what do they have? So I wanted to create something that, that will set them up and, and we can be more sympathetic and empathetic to their needs. And each of these patches are different colors. What do they stand for, these colors? The colored one is for the medical professionals, doctors, nurses. The white one is for the uh, medical support staff. Um, I wanted to make sure that we recognize those guys also, the personnel that clean and sanitize because they're just as at risk for COVID-19 as anyone else but no one seems to be uh, recognizing them. So I wanted to make sure I did. Hey, uh, you know, Jacob, it's it says uh, in your notes um, that you suffer from PTSD, and I would think that uh, decades in the military, that is probably um, not unusual. What can you recognize in the frontline workers on, on this COVID battle? What can you recognize? What should they be looking out for if they're not used to maybe asking for help? I think people that give a lot of help sometimes have a hard time asking for help. Yeah, yeah. I, absolutely. Yeah. I wanted them to know it's nothing to be ashamed of. I suffered in silence for years um, until I got some intervention. And, and luckily, I was strong enough. Notice I didn't say weak enough. I was strong enough to get help. I recently talked to my niece. Her name is Deanna Coney. She lives in Warner Robins, Georgia. She's an LPN, and she was crying in her um, garage because she was afraid to go in because she has a six-year-old daughter, and she was afraid to touch her. And these are all symptoms of these things are going to bother them for years to come, and there's really nothing set up right now for them like me. I'm a soldier. Wow. It's, uh, it's an incredible project that you've got, and I understand you're running this all from your dining room table there? Yes, sir. This is probably the cleanest the dining room table has ever been. Me and my son, he helps me out. His name's Malcolm, and he's a college student at UGA. And we're probably going to eat here tonight because this is probably the neatest it's been in about <laughs> two months. Well, uh, listen, go dogs, first of all. And I was thinking, when you said Will Robbins, we lost to them in the state semifinal championship when I was a, a football player in Georgia. Yes, sir. They're very good. They are. <laughs> well, listen, great to meet you. Thank you for coming on. Continued success. We want to donate $1,000 towards your cause to help with everything that you are doing and keep it going. I appreciate that. The scholarship fund appreciates it. Um, I'm excited. Um, looking for philanthropists, businessmen, just extraordinary citizens to step up because I don't believe that heroes should have to buy their own badge. 100%. Well said. Well said. For more information on COVID Angel of Mercy, go check it out. It's on our website, kellyandryan.com. Jacob Neal, we appreciate your service. We appreciate you. You take care of yourself. Thank you much. Salute y'all. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th Happy of July, 4th Jacob. Bye-bye. That is a good man right there. We're going to come back in just a second with Renee Elise Goldberry after the break. Yeah.